Here we'll be taking another look at evaluating limits as x approaches infinity. So pause at this point to view the steps and pause again here also. So with any limit our first step is always to sub for x with the value it's approaching. So here it's x approaching infinity so that will give us instead of x squared we have infinity squared plus 7 instead of x cubed we have infinity cubed minus 3. Infinity squared is infinity plus 7 is still infinity infinity cubed is infinity minus 3 is still infinity. So here we're given an answer of infinity over infinity which we know is not defined. So therefore we should figure out another method of getting a defined answer for this limit. So what we do in this situation when x is approaching infinity we divide above and below by the highest power of x. So in this particular one the highest power of x is x cubed. So we're dividing above and below by x cubed. So it's x squared divided by x cubed plus 7 divided by x cubed all over x cubed divided by x cubed minus 3 divided by x cubed. So at this point we break it down. So it's limit x approaching infinity. x squared divided by x cubed is 1 over x plus 7 over x cubed and that's divided by x cubed divided by x cubed is 1 minus 3 over x cubed so now that we have that step completed we sub for x with what it's approaching which is infinity so instead of 1 over x we have 1 over infinity plus 7 over infinity cubed divided by 1 minus 3 over infinity cubed. So remember anything divided by infinity is equal to 0 so 1 over infinity that will give us 0. 7 over infinity cubed that's 7 over infinity which is 0 also divided by 1 minus 3 over infinity cubed is 3 over infinity which is equal to 0. So that gives us 0 over 1 which is equal to 0. So our final answer the limit of x approaching infinity of x squared plus 7 over x cubed minus 3 is equal to 0. That means within this function as x approaches infinity so as x gets larger and larger you'll see the y value approaches 0.